Accelerated benefits. Riders attached to life insurance policies that allow death benefits to be used to pay for nursing or convalescent home expenses. Accident. An unforeseen, unplanned event that occurs suddenly and at an unspecified place. Accident insurance. A type of insurance that protects the insured against loss created by accidental bodily injury. Accidental bodily injury. An unforeseen, unplanned, traumatic injury to the body. Accidental death and dismemberment. Accidental death and dismemberment. AD&D. An insurance policy that pays a specific amount or a specified multiple of the insurer's benefit if the insured dies, loses two limbs, or loses their sight due to an accident. Accidental death benefits. A policy writer that specifies that the cause of death will be analyzed to determine if it complies with the policy description of accidental death. Accidental death insurance. An insurance policy that provides payment if the insured's death is caused by an accident. Accumulation period. The time over which the annuitant makes investments or payments in an annuity and when those payments earn Tax deferred interest. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS, an incurable and infectious disease caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. Activities of daily living, ADLS. Activities individuals need to do every day, such as getting dressed, moving about, eating, bathing, etc. Actual cash value, ACV. The required amount for property loss or to pay damages, which is calculated based on the property's current replacement value minus depreciation. Actual charge. The amount a supplier or physician actually bills for a particular supply or service. Actuary. An individual trained in the technical aspects of insurance and related fields, particularly in the mathematics of insurance. An individual who, on behalf of the insurer, Determines the mathematical probability of loss. Adhesion. A contract offered on a take-it-or-leave-it basis by an insurance provider in which the insured only option is to accept or reject the contract. Any ambiguities in the contract will be settled in favor of the insured. Adjustable life. Life insurance which allows changes in the premium amount, face amount, period of protection, and the duration of the premium payment period. Adjuster. A representative of an insurance carrier who investigates and acts on behalf of the insurer to obtain agreements for the amount of the insurance claim. Administrator. A person appointed by a court as a fiduciary to settle the financial affairs and estate of a deceased individual. Admitted authorized insurer. An insurer authorized and licensed to conduct business in a particular state. Adult daycare. A program by impaired, a program for impaired adults that attempts to meet their functional, social, and health needs 
in a setting away from their homes. Adverse selection. The tendency of risks with a higher probability of loss to buy and maintain insurance more often than the risks that present a lower probability. Agency. An insurance company or sales office. Agent. A person who is licensed to negotiate, sell, or affect insurance contracts on behalf of an insurer. Allatory. A contract in which the participating parties agree to an exchange of unequal amounts. Insurance contracts are allatory in that the amount the insurance provider will pay in the event of a loss is unequal to the amount the insured will pay in premiums. Alien Insurer An insurance provider that is incorporated outside the United States. Alzheimer's Disease A disease that caused the victim to become dysfunctional because of the degeneration of brain cells causing severe memory loss. Ancillary Additional miscellaneous services provided by a hospital, such as lab work, x-rays, but not hospital room and board expenses, so ancillary. Additional miscellaneous services provided by a hospital, such as lab work, x-rays, and anesthesia, but not hospital room and board expenses. Annual Statement A detailed financial report that an insurer must submit each year to the Department of Insurance in any state in which it conducts business. Annuity A contract that provides income for life or for a specified period of years. Apparent Authority The appearance or the assumption of authority based on the words, actions, or deeds of the principal, or because of circumstances the principal created. Applicant A person making an application for themselves or another to be insured an insurance contract. Applicant, a person making an application for themselves or another to be insured under an insurance contract. Application, a document that gathers information for underwriting purposes. After the policy is issued, any unanswered questions are considered waived by the insurance company. Approved amount, the amount Medicare decides to be reasonable for a service that is covered under Part B of Medicare. Assignment, in quotations, life. The transfer of a life insurance policy's ownership rights from one person to another. Assignment, health. A claim of a... A claim to a medical supplier or provider to receive payments directly from Medicare. Attained age. The age of the insured at a specified date. Attending physician statement, APS. A statement commonly obtained from the applicant's doctor. Authorized. Insurer. Quotations admitted. Authorized admitted insurer, an insurance provider authorized and licensed to conduct business in a particular state. Avoidance, a method of dealing with risk by deliberately avoiding it. Example given, if a person wanted to avoid the risk of being killed in a helicopter crash, they might choose never to fly in a helicopter. Back end load. A fee charged at the time of a sale, transfer, or withdrawal from a life insurance policy or an annuity. Basic hospital expense insurance. 
Coverage that provides benefits during a hospital stay for room, board, and miscellaneous hospital expenses for a certain number of days. Basic illustration. A proposal or ledger used in the sale of a life insurance policy that shows both guaranteed and non-guaranteed elements. Basic medical expense insurance. Coverage for doctor's visits, emergency room visits, x-rays, and lab tests benefits, however, are limited to specific dollar amounts. Beneficiary. A beneficiary, the individual who receives the proceeds from the policy when the insurer dies. Benefit period, the length of time over which the insurance benefits will be paid for each disability, illness, or hospital stay. Binder, in quotations, binding receipt. A temporary contract that binds a policy before the minimum is paid, in quotation puts an insurance policy into force. Birthday rule. The method of determining a dependent's child primary coverage. The plan of the parent whose birthday occurs first in the calendar year will be designated as primary coverage. Blanket Medical Insurance, a policy that provides benefits for all medical costs, including hospitalization, doctor's visits, and drugs. Boycott, an unfair trade practice in which one party refuses to do business with another until they agree to certain conditions. Broker, an individual who represents an insured in the process of negotiating and obtaining a contract of insurance. Buy-sell agreement, a legal contract that determines what will be done with a business in the event that an owner becomes disabled or dies. Buyer's Guide, a booklet that describes insurance policies and concepts and provides general information to help applicants make an educated decision. Cafeteria Plan A selection of health care benefits from which an employee can select the ones that they need. Capital Amount A percentage of a policy's principal amount paid to the insured if they suffered the loss of an appendage. Carriers Entities that process claims and pay benefits in an insurance policy. Cash value. The amount to which an owner, policy owner, is entitled when the policy is surrendered prior to maturity. Cease and desist order. A demand of an individual to stop committing an action that is a violation of a provision. Certificate. A statement or booklet which confirms that a policy has been written and that describes the coverage in general. Certificate of Authority A document that authorizes a company to begin conducting business and specifies the kind of insurance a company can transact. It is illegal for an insurer to... to transact insurance without this certificate. Certificate of Insurance A legal document that indicates an insurance policy has been issued. It specifies both the types and amounts of insurance provided. Claim A request for the payment of benefits provided by an insurance policy. Coercion An unfair trade practice in which an insurance company uses physical or mental force to persuade an applicant to purchase insurance. Coinsurance. An agreement between an insured and insurer in which both parties are expected to pay a certain portion of the potential loss and other expenses. 
coinsurance clause, a practice, a provision that specifies the insured and the insurer will share the losses covered by the policy in a proportion agreed upon in advance. Commingling, a practice in which an individual in a fiduciary capacity illegally mixes their personal funds with funds they are holding in trust. Commission, the payment made by insurance companies to agents or brokers for the sale and service of policies. Commissioner, Director, Superintendent the Chief Executive and Administrative Officer of a State Department of Insurance. Comprehensive Policy, a plan that provides a package of health care services including immunization, routine physicals, preventative care, outpatient services, and hospitalization. Comprehensive Major Medical, a combination of basic coverage and medical major medical coverage that features high maximum benefits, low deductibles, and coinsurance. Concealment, the act of intentionally withholding known facts which, if material, can void a contract. Conditional contract, a type of agreement in which both parties have to perform certain duties and follow rules of conduct to make the contract enforceable. Consideration, a contract's binding force that requires something of value to be exchanged for the transfer of risk. The insured's consideration is the representations made in the application and the payment of premium. The insurer's consideration is the promise to pay in the event of a loss. Consideration Clause a part of the insurance contract that specifies both parties must give something of value for the transfer of risk and stipulates the conditions of the exchange. Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act of 1986, in parentheses COBRA. The law allows for the contribution of a group health care benefits for insured up to 18 months if they terminate employment or are no longer eligible and for dependents of insured up to 36 months in cases of the loss of eligibility because of the insured's death, divorce, or attainment of the limiting age. Consumer reports, written and or oral statements about a consumer's character credit, reputation, or habits collected by a reporting agency from credit reports, employment records, and other public sources. Contract, a legal agreement between two or more parties that is enforceable by law. Contributory, a group insurance plan that requires the employees to pay a portion of the premium. Controlled business, an entity that obtains and possesses a license solely for the purpose of writing business on the owner, relatives, immediate family, employer, and employees. Convertible. A policy that can be exchanged for another type of policy by contractual provision at the option of the policy owner and without evidence of insurability, example given, term life converted to a form of permanent life. Coordination of benefits, a provision that helps determine the primary provider in situations where an insured is covered by more than one policy. Unfortunately, un ultimately, avoiding claims overpayment. Copay. An arrangement in which an insured has to pay a specific amount for services up front, and the insurance provider pays the remainder of the cost. Counter signature. The act of signing an insurance contract by a licensed agent. Coverage. The inclusion of perils, or causes of loss, which are covered within a scope of a policy. 
Credit life insurance. A special type of insurance written to pay off a loan balance in the event of a death of the debitor. CSO table. The Commissioner Standard Ordinary Table. A mortality table used in life insurance that mathematically predicts the probability of death. That's spooky. Custodial care. Care that is given to help an insured complete their act. Death benefit. The amount payable upon the death of the individual whose life is insured. Decreasing term. A type of life insurance that features a level premium and a death benefit that decreases every year over the duration of the policy. Deductible. The portion of the loss that is to be paid by the insured before any claim benefits can be paid by the insurance company. Defamation. An unfair trade practice in which one agent or insurance provider makes an injurious statement about another with the intent of harming the reputation of the person or company. Dependent. An individual who relies on another for support or maintenance. Director. Commissioner. Superintendent. The head of the State Department of Insurance. Disability. A mental or physical impairment, either congenital or resulting from a sickness or injury. Disability Income Insurance. Health insurance that provides periodic payments to replace an insured's income when they are ill or injured. Disclosure. The act of identifying the name of the producer, representative, limited insurance representative, firm, or temporary insurance producer on any policy solicitation. Domestic insurer. An insurance provider that conducts business in the state of incorporation. Domicile of insurer. An insurer's location or of incorporation and the legal ability to write business in a state. Dread. In quotations specified. So dread disease policy. A policy with a high maximum limit that covers certain diseases named in the contract, such as meningitis and polio. Dual dual choice. A federal requirement that are, that employers with 25 or more employees who are within the service area of a qualified HMO who pay minimum wage and offer a health plan are required to offer, offer HMO coverage as well as an indemnity plan. Earned premium. The portion of the premium for which the policy protection has been given. Effective date. The date on which an insurance policy begins, also called the inception date. Eligibility period. The period of time in which an employee can enroll in a group health care plan without evidence of insurability. Elimination period. A waiting period that is imposed on the insured from the onset of a disability until benefit payment begins. Emergency. A disease or injury that occurs suddenly and requires treatment within 24 hours. Employee Retirement Income Security Act. In quotations, ERISA. A law that stipulates federal standards for private pension plans. Endodontics. An area of dentistry that deals with prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of the dental pulp within natural teeth at the root canal. Endorsement. A form changing the provisions attached to a life insurance policy, also called a rider. Endow. To reach the maturity date or time at which the face amount equals the cash value. Enrollment period. The amount of time an employee has to enroll in a contributory group health plan. Errors and omissions policy, E&O. 
a professional liability insurance policy that protects the insurance provider from claims by the insured for errors or oversights on the part of the insurer. Estoppel, a legal obstruction to denying a fact or restoring a right that had that has been previously waived. Excess charge, the difference between the amount approved by Medicare for a service or supply and the actual charge. Excess insurance, insurance that pays over and above or in addition to the basic policy limits. Exclusions, causes of exposures, loss, conditions, etc. listed in the policy for which insurance benefits will not be paid. Executory contract, a contract that has not yet been fulfilled by one or both parties that promises action in the event of a specified future event. Expiration, the date listed in the policy is the date of termination. Explanation of benefits, EOB, a statement that outlines what services were rendered, how much the insurance company paid, and how much the insurance the insured was billed. <coughs> Exclama- explanation of Medicare benefits. A statement sent to a Medicare patient specifying how the Medicare claim will be settled. Exposure. A unit of measure used to calculate rates charged for insurance coverage. Express authority. The authority granted to an agent as a result of the agent's written contract. Extended care facility. A facility that is licensed by the state to provide 24-hour nursing care. Extension of benefits. A provision allowing coverage to continue beyond the policy's expiration date for employees who are not actively at work because of a disability or who have dependents hospitalized on that date. This coverage continues until the employee returns to work or the dependent leaves the hospital. Face. The policy's first page of A. Period. Fair Credit Reporting Act. A federal law that establishes procedures consumer reporting agencies have to follow in order to ensure that records are accurate, confidential, relevant, and properly used. Fiduciary, an agent or broker who handles and insures funds in a trust capacity. Fixed annuity, an annuity that allow, that offers fixed payments and guarantees a minimum interest rate to be credited to the purchase payment or payments. Flexible premium, a policy feature that allows the policy owner to vary premium payments in the amount and or the frequency of payment. Flexible Spending Account, FSA, a salary reduction cafeteria plan that uses employee funds to offer various types of health care benefits. Foreign Insurer, an insurance provider that is incorporated in another state. Fraternal Benefit Societies Life or health insurance companies formed to provide insurance for members of an affiliated religious organization, lodge, or fraternal organization with a representative form of government. Fraud Intentional deceit or misrepresentation with the intent to induce an individual to part with something of value. Free look, a period of time, typically required by law, during which a policyholder can inspect a new insured, a new issued individual life or health insurance policy for a stated number of days and surrender it in exchange for a full refund of the premium if the policyholder is not satisfied for any reason. Front end load. A fee or commission charged at the time of purchase of a security or an annuity. Gatekeeper model. 
a model of HMO or PPO organizations that uses the insured's primary care physician, also known as a gatekeeper, as the initial contact for the patient for medical care and for referrals. Grace period. Period of time after the premium due date during which premiums can still be paid and the policy and its riders remain in force. Group Disability Insurance A type of insurance that covers a group of people against loss of pay due to sickness or an accident. Group Health Insurance Health coverage offered to a members of a group. Group Life Life insurance offered to members of a group. Hazard, a circumstance that increases the pro probability of a loss. Moral hazard, the effect of a person's character, representation, living habits, etc. on their insurability. Moral hazard, or morale hazard, the effect of a person's indifference regarding loss that has to, on the risk of the insured. So moral, morale hazard, the effect of a person's indifference regarding loss has on the risk to be insured. Physical hazard, a type of hazard that arises from the physical characteristics of a person, such as physical disability because of either current circumstance or a certain uh, condition present as, at birth. Health insurance, protection against loss because of sickness or bodily injury. Health maintenance organization, HMO, a prepaid medical service plan in which specified medical service providers contract with the HMO to deliver services. Preventative medicine is the focus of HMO. Health reimbursement accounts, HRAs. Health plans that let employers decide up oh, health employers that let employers set aside funds for reimbursing employees for qualified medical expenses. Health savings account HSAs. Health plans intended to help individuals save for qualified health expenses. Home health agency. An agency certified by the insurance health plan that delivers health care services under contract. Home health care. A type of care in which home health aid or part-time nursing services, speech therapy, occupational or physical therapy services are given in the home of the insured. Home health services. A covered expense under Medicare Part A, in which a licensed home health agency provides home health care to an insured. Hospice. A facility for the terminally ill that offers supportive care such as symptom relief and pain management to the patient and their family. Medicare Part A covers hospice care. Hospital Confinement Rider. An optional disability income rider that waives the elimination period when an insured is admitted to a hospital as an inpatient. Implied authority. Authority that is not expressed or written into the contract, but which the agent is assumed to have in order to conduct the business of insurance on behalf of the principal. Income Replacement Contracts. Policies that produce a certain percentage of the insured's pure loss of income because of a covered accident or sickness. Indemnify. To restore the insured to the same condition as before the occurrence of loss with no intent of loss or gain. Illustration. A proposal or ledger used in the sale of a life insurance policy that presents both guaranteed and non-guaranteed elements. Insolvent organization, a member organization that is una unable to pay its contractual obligations and is placed under a final order of liquidation or rehabilitation by a court. 
Insurability. The acceptability of an applicant who satisfies an insurance company's underwriting requirements for insurance. Insurable interest. A financial interest in the life of another individual, a possibility of losing something of value if the insured should die. In life and health insurance, insurable interest has to be stated at the time of policy issue. Insurance. A contract under which one party, insurer, agrees to indemnify or guarantee another party, insured, against a loss by a specified future peril or contingency in return for the payment of a premium. Insured. The person or organization that is covered by the insurance, the party to be indemnified. Insurer, the entity that indemnifies against losses, pays benefits, or provides services also known as insurance company or insurance provider. Insuring clause, a general statement that an identifies the basic agreement between the insurer and the insured, generally located on the first page of the policy. Integrated LTC Rider, a rider that is attached to a life insurance policy to pay long-term care benefits. The amount of benefits available for the LTC depends upon the life insurance benefits available. However, the benefits paid toward LTC will decrease the life insurance policy's benefit. Intentional injury. An act that is intended to cause an injury. Self-inflicted injuries are not covered under accident insurance. Intentional injuries inflicted on the insured by another person are covered. Intermediaries. Organizations that process inpatient and outpatient claims on individuals by hospitals, home health agencies, skilled nursing facilities, hospices, and other certain providers of health services. Intermediate care. A level of care that is one step down from skilled nursing care, given under the supervision of physicians or registered nurses. Investigative Consumer Report Similar to consumer reports, and they offer also delivery information on the consumer's reputation, character, and habits. Issue Age The person's age when a policy is issued. Joint Life A single policy that is intended to insure two or more lives. Juvenile Life a life insurance policy written on the life of a minor child. Lapse. Termination of a policy because the premium was not paid by the end of the policy grace period. Law of large numbers. A principle which states that the larger the numbers of similar units of exposure, the more closely the reported losses with equal the probability of loss. Legal Reserve The accounting measure of an insurance provider's future obligations to pay claims to policy owners. Level Premium A policy premium that remains the same during the period of time premiums are paid. Life Expectancy Average number of years remaining for an individual to a given age of to live as displayed on the mortality table. Limited pay whole life. A type of whole life insurance that charges a level annual premium and offers a level. Guaranteed death benefit to the insurance age of 100 and will endow for the face amount if the insured reaches age 100. Limited pay Life is de designed so that the premiums for coverage will be entirely paid up well before age 100. Limited policies. Health insurance policies that only cover specified diseases or accidents. Limited charge. 
the maximum amount a physician can charge a Medicare beneficiary for a covered service if the physician does not accept assignment of the Medicare approved amount. Liquidation. Selling assets as a mean of raising capital. Living benefits rider. A rider added to a life insurance policy that provides LTC benefits or benefits for the terminally ill by using available life insurance benefits. Lloyd's Association. Organizations that offer support facilities for underwriters or groups of individuals that accept insurance risk. Loan value. The amount of money a policy owner can borrow using the cash value of their life insurance policy as collateral. Long-term care, LTC. Health and social services provided under the supervision of physicians and medical health professionals for individuals with disabilities or chronic diseases. Care is typically provided in a long-term care facility, which is a state-licensed facility that offers services. Long-term disability insurance. A type of individual or group insurance that covers illness until the insured reaches age 65 and for life in the event of an accident. Loss. The decrease reduction or appearance of the value of the person or property insured under a policy by a peril insured against. Loss of income insurance. Insurance that pays benefits for the inability to work due to a disability resulting from accidental bodily injury or sickness. Lump sum. A settlement method that pays the beneficiary the proceeds of a life insurance policy in one lump sum payment rather than in installments. Major medical insurance. A type of health insurance that typically carries a large deductible and pays covered expenses up to a high limit whether the insured is in or out of the hospital. Maturity date. The date when the life insurance policy's face amount becomes payable. Medicaid. A medical benefits program for individuals whose income and resources are insufficient to cover the cost of necessary medical care jointly administered by the individual states and the federal government. Medical expense insurance. A type of insurance that provides benefits for medical, hospital, and surgical costs. Medical Information Bureau, MIB. An information database that contains the health histories of individuals who have applied for insurance in the past. Most insurers subscribe to this database for underwriting purposes. Medical Savings Account. An employer-funded account that is connected to a high-deductible medical insurance plan. Medicare. The United States federal government plan for paying certain hospital and medical expenses for, for qualified individuals. Medicare Supplement Insurance. A type of insurance or group insurance that fills the gaps in the level of protection provided by Medicare. Medigap, Medicare supplement plans issued by private insurers that are designated to fill some of the gaps in Medicare coverage. Misrepresentation, a lie or false statement that can render the contract void. Mode of payment, the method of payment, the method of premium payment, whether monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. Morbidity rate. The ratio of the incident of sickness to the number of healthy individuals in a given group of people over a given period of time. Morbidity table. A table listing the incidence of sickness at specified ages. 
mortality table, a table listing the probability of death at specified ages. Multiple Employer Trust, MET, a group of small employers who are not eligible for group insurance individually, formed to establish a self-funded plan or group health plan. Multiple Employer Welfare Association, MEWA, an organization of at least two employers other than an admitted insurer that establishes an employee benefit plan for the purpose of providing accident and sickness or death benefits to employees. Mutual companies. Insurance companies that have no capital stock but are owned by the policy owners. Natural premium. The amount of premium that needs to be collected from each member of a group composed of the same risk, age, and sex in order to pay $1,000 for each death that will occur in the group each year. Non-admitted or non-authorized. An insurer that has not applied for or has applied and been denied a certificate of authority and cannot transact insurance business in a particular state. Non-authorized or non-admitted. An insurer that has not applied for or has not or has applied and been denied a certificate of authority and may not transact insurance business in a particular state. Non-cancelable. Non-cancelable. An insurance policy that had that the insurance had a right to continue in force by paying premiums that remain the same for a substantial period of time. So non-cancelable. An insurance policy that the insured has a right to continue in force by paying premiums that remain the same for a substantial period of time. Non-forfeiture values. Those guaranteed values in a life insurance policy that cannot be taken from the policy owner, even if they cease to pay the premiums. Non-medical. A life or health insurance policy that is underwritten based on the insured's statement of health rather than a medical exam. Non-participating policies. Non-par. Insurance policies that do not pay dividends. Non-qualified plan. A type of benefit plan that can discriminate is not required to be filed with the IRS and does not offer a tax deduction for contributions. Non-renewal. Termination of a policy by an insurance provider on the anniversary or renewal date. Non-resident agent. An agent licensed in a state in which they are not a resident. Notice of claim. A provision that specifies an insurer's responsibility to provide the insurer with reasonable notice in the event of a loss. Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act, a federal law that authorizes the NAIC to create a standardized model for Medicare supplement policies. Option. A choice of the way policy dividends, non fortifer values, death benefits, or cash values are received. Oral surgery. Operative treatment of the mouth, including extractions of teeth and related surgical treatment. Orthodontics. A special field in dentistry that involves the treatment of natural teeth to prevent and or correct dental anomalies with appliances or braces. Out-of-pocket costs. Amounts an insured has to pay for deductibles and coinsurance before the insurance provider will pay its portion. Over-insurance. An excessive amount of insurance that will result in overpaying the insured in the event of a loss. Paid up insurance, a policy on which all premiums have been paid but not which has yet matured due to either death or endowment. Parole, a legal term that differentiates oral 
statements from written statements. Parole Evidence Rule A rule that stipulates a contract cannot be altered without the written consent of both parties. In other words, the contract cannot be altered by an oral agreement. Partial Disability The ability to perform some, but not all, of the duties of the insured's occupation because of sickness or injury. Participating Policies PAR Insurance that pays dividends to policy owners. Payment of claims, a provision that states to whom claims payments are to be made. Payor benefit, a rider found in juvenile policies that waives the premiums if the person paying for them, often the payment, often the parent is disabled or dies with the child and is a minor. Peril. The cause of a potential loss. Periodontics, a specialty of dentistry that involves treatment of the supporting and surrounding tissue of the teeth, such as treatments for gum disease. Permanent disability, disability from which the insured never recovers. Permanent life insurance, a general term used to refer to various forms of whole life policies that remain effective to age 100 so long as the premium is paid. Persistency. The tendency or likelihood of an insurance policy not lapsing or being replaced with insurance from another insurance provider. Personal contract. An agreement between an insurance provider and an individual that states the insurance policy will cover the individual's insurable interest. Physical exam and autopsy. A provision that allows an insurance company at its own expense to have an insured physically examined when a claim is pending or to have an autopsy performed were not prohibited by law. Policy loan. A non-forfeiture value in which an insurance provider loans a part or all of the cash value of the policy assigned as security for the loan to the policy holder. Policy holder. An individual who has possession of the policy, generally the insured. Policy owner. The individual who is entitled to exercise the owner rights and privileges of the policy. This person does not have to be the insured. Pre-existing condition. A physical condition that existed before the effective date of the policy, typically excluded from coverage. Preferred Provider Organization, PPO, an organization of medical professionals and hospitals who offer services to the an insured's clients for a set fee. Ugh. Preferred risk. Preferred risk, an insurance classification for applicants who have a lower probability of incurring a loss and who are covered at a reduced rate. Premium. A periodic table, a periodic payment to the insurer to keep the policy in force. Primary beneficiary, the individual who is named as first to receive benefits from a policy. Presumptive disability, a provision found in most disability income policies that specifies the condition which will automatically qualify the insured for fully disability for full disability benefits primary policy a basic fundamental insurance policy that pays first with respect to other outstanding policies principal amount the entire face value of a policy private insurance insurance provided by non-governmental insuring organizations Pro rata cancelization. Termination of an insurance policy with an adjustment of the premium in proportion to the exact coverage that has been in force. Probationary period. The period of time between the effective date of a health insurance policy and the date coverage begins. Proceeds. The amount payable by the insurer, typically at the insured's death or when the policy matures. Producer, an insurance broker or agent. Proof of loss, a claim form that a claimant has to submit after a loss occurs. 
prostodontics, a special area of dentistry that involves the replacement of missing teeth with artificial devices like dentures or bridge work. Provider, an individual or group who provides health care services. Pure protection, insurance in which premiums are paid for protection in the event of a disability or death rather than for cash value accumulation. Qualified plan, a retirement plan that satisfies the IRS guidelines for receiving favorable tax treatment. Rate service organization, an organization that is formed by or on behalf of a group of insurance providers to develop rates for those insurers and to file the rates with the Department of Insurance on behalf of its members. They can also act as a collection point for actual data. Rebating, an inducement offered in the sale of insurance products that is not stated in the policy. Reciprocal exchange, an unincorporated group of people who mutually insure one another, each separately assuming a share of each risk. Reciprocity, a situation in which two parties provide the same advantages or help to each other. For example, producer A living in New Jersey can transact business as a non-resident in Virginia if Virginia's resident producers can transact business in New Jersey. Recurrent disability. A policy provision. Recurrent disability. A policy provision that specifies the time period during which the recurrence of an illness or injury will be considered a continuation of a prior period of disability. Reduction. Decreasing the possibility or severity of a loss. Reinsurance. A form of insurance in which one insurer, the reinsurer, in consideration of a premium paid to it, agrees to indemnify another insurer, the seeding insurance company, or part of or all of its liabilities from policies it has issued. Renewability Clause A clause that defines the insurance providers and the insurer's right to cancel or renew coverage. Insu- renewability, renewable Term Insurance which can, at the election of the insured, be renewed at the end of a term without providing insurance or insurability. Representations Statements an applicant makes on the insurance applications that are believed to be true but are not guaranteed to be true. Recession The termination of an insurance contract due to either material misrepresentation by the insured or by misrepresentation, fraud, or duress on the part of the agent slash insurer. Reserve An amount representing actual or potential liabilities kept by an insurance provider in a separate account to cover debts to policy owners. Residual Disability Type of disability income policy that pays benefits for the loss of income when an individual returns to work after a total disability but is still not able to perform at the same level as before the disability. Respite care, a type of temporary health or medical care provided either by a nursing facility where a patient stays or by paid workers who come to the home to give a caregiver a short rest. Restorative care, an area of dentistry which involves treatments that restore functional use to natural teeth such as crowns or fillings. Retention, a method of dealing with risk by intentionally or unintentionally retaining a portion of it for the insured's account. The amount of responsibility assumed but not reinsured by the insurance provider. Rider, a supplemental agreement attached to and made a part of the policy indicating the policy's expansion by additional coverage or a waiver of a condition or coverage. Right to return. Free look. A time, a period of time typically required by law 
during which a policy holder can inspect a newly in issued individual life or health insurance policy for a specified number of days and surrender it in exchange for a full refund of premium if they are not satisfied for any reason. Risk. Uncertainty regarding the outcome of an event when two or more possibilities exist. Pure risk. The uncertainty or chance of a loss taking place in a situation that can only result in a loss or no change. Risk Retention Group A liability insurance company owned by its members which are exposed to similar liability risks by virtue of being in the same industry or business. Speculative Risk the uncertainty or opportunity of a loss occurring in a situation that involves the chance for either a loss or gain. Standard risk. An insured or applicant who is considered to have an average probability of loss based on their health, vocation, and lifestyle. Substandard risk. An insured or applicant who has a higher than normal probability of loss and who could be subject to an increased premium. Rollover. Withdrawing the money from a qualified plan and depositing it into another qualified plan. Secondary Beneficiary The individual who is named to receive benefits upon the death of the insured if primary first name beneficiary is no longer alive and does not collect all the benefits because of their own death. Service Plans Insurance plans where the health care services rendered are the benefits rather than monetary benefits. Settlement options. Choices available to the insured or policy owner for distributing insurance proceeds. Sharing. A method of dealing with risk for a group of individuals or businesses with the same or similar exposure to loss who share the losses that take place within the group. Short-term disability insurance. A group or individual policy that covers disabilities of 13 to 26 weeks and in some cases for up to two years. Short rate cancellation. Canceling a policy with a less than proportionate return of premium. Sickness. A physical disease, illness, or pregnancy, but not a mental illness. Single premium whole life, SPWL. A life insurance policy at intended to provide a level death benefit. <clears throat> Single premium whole life, SPWL, a life insurance policy intended to provide a level death benefit to the insured's age 100 for a one-time lump sum payment. Skilled nursing care, daily skilled care or nursing care such as the administration of medication, diagnosis, or minor surgery that is performed by or under the supervision of a skilled professional. Spend thrift clause, a clause that prevents the debtors of a beneficiary from collecting the, collecting the benefits before the beneficiary receives them. Standard provisions, requirements approved by state law that have to appear in every insurance policy. Standard risk. An insured or applicant who is considered to have an average probability of loss based on their health, vocation, and lifestyle. Stock companies. Companies owned by stockholders whose investments provide the necessary capital to establish and operate the insurer. Straight life. A basic policy that charges a level annual premium for the insured's lifetime and provides a guaranteed level death benefit. Subrogation. The legal process by which an insurer seeks recovery of the amount paid to the insured from a third party who may have caused the loss. Substandard risk. An insured or applicant who has a higher than normal probability of loss and who may be charged an increased premium. Superintendent, director or commissioner, the head of the state's insurance department. Supplemental illustration, an illustration given in addition to a basic illustration that can be presented in a different format than the basic illustration, but can only show a scale of non-guaranteed elements that is allowed in a basic illustration. Surrender. 
an act of giving up a policy, a life policy, in which the insurance provider will pay the insured the cash value the policy has accumulated. Term insurance. Insurance that offers protection for a specified period of time. Terminally ill. A patient who is expected to die within a specified amount of time that is listed in the policy. Tertiary beneficiary. The third in line to receive the death benefits of a life insurance policy. Total disability. A condition that does not allow the person to perform the duties of any occupation for payment because of sickness or injury. Transfer. A fundamental principle of insurance under which the risk of financial loss is assigned to another party. Twisting. A form of misrepresentation in which an agent persuades an insured or policy owner to lapse, cancel, or switch policies, even when it's to the insurer's disadvantage. Underwriter. An individual who evaluates the classified risk to accept or reject on behalf of the insurance company. Underwriting. The process of reviewing, accepting, or rejecting insurance applications. Unearned premium. The portion of a premium for which policy protection has not yet been provided. Unilateral contract. A contract which legally binds only one party to contractual obligations after the premium is paid. Universal life. A combination of adjustable life insurance and a flexible premium. Utmost good faith. The fair and equal bargaining of both parties in forming the contract where the applicant is required to make full disclosure of risk to the insurer, and the insurer must be fair in underwriting the risk. Valued contract. A disability insurance or life insurance contract that pays a specified amount in the event of a loss. Viatical settlements. An arrangement that allows someone living with a life-threatening condition to sell their existing life policy and use the proceeds when they are needed most before death. Waiting period. The time between the start of a disability and the start of disability insurance benefits. Waiver. The voluntary abandonment of a known advantage or legal right. Waiver of cost. A disability rider found in universal life insurance that waives the cost of the insurance but does not waive the cost of premiums needed to accumulate cash values. Waiver of premium. A continuation of life insurance coverage if the policy owner becomes totally disabled and is unable to pay the premiums. Warranty. A material stipulation in the policy that, if breached, can void coverage. Whole life insurance. Insurance that is kept in force for the entire life of a person and pays a benefit upon their death, whenever that may be. Workers' Compensation. Benefits required by state law to be paid to an employee if the employer, in the event of a disability, injury, or death, as the result of an on-the-job hazard.